Welcome to lesson 1 part 4, the final video in lesson 1. In this lesson we'll look at having rivers and objects. Now, if you remember, this is the world we created at the end of part 3, and what we're going to have a look at now is the water tool. Click on this. By default, if you've got a gully or a lowered piece of land, you should be able to fill it. Holding the left mouse button will fill it with water. If you go too far, it will flood the land, so just be careful. However, you can remove this by right-clicking and holding it down until it's at the desired level. Above the water tool, you'll notice that there is the four different coloured blocks. This allows you to select different types of water. So for example, here I've got lava, and if I want to, I can clear the water, and when I fill it up again this time, it'll fill with lava. Look. Now, a world is not complete without objects, so finally, the last tool we'll look at is the object tool. The one that looks like a codu is called the object tool. If you click on it and left click on the ground, it will bring up a wheel. From this wheel, you can select objects, characters and other things to put on the world. What we'll do to begin with is add a tree. And you can see we have four different types of trees. Just select whichever one you please. I'm going to select this one. Now, the problem with objects is that they all come in as a default size. And as you can see here, that tree is rather big compared to the world. To edit an object, if you hover over it, you'll notice that at the top, a bunch of colours appear. Selecting left and right will allow you to change the colour of that tree, so it can represent your design or a different season. And if you right click on the tree, you'll get some options. The options you need for the present is to change its size, which will give you a slider bar, which you can go left and right. And the other option that you might want to use at the moment is the rotate option. This is useful so you can rotate the tree around and see exactly where it is. Have a play with the other options if you wish, um, but that is the end of this lesson one tutorial series.